Welcome back to another van series build. My name is Kurt and in this video we're going to be building the walls the rest of the way up towards the top, putting insulation in, um, building the actual the framing behind it and the walls. So exciting stuff. The van is really coming together. Let's dive into it. Got these layers where you're going from this level down to this level and then down to the window and then up here you're going straight back up to the to the highest level nothing straight man nothing straight and then as far as it being level because the way the van sits or your or the, the ground you're on it's I know I keep saying that but it just it's just wild to build something like this where you just gotta wing it, you know. Usually, you can start somewhere and build your way off of something, but it's uh, a lot more difficult in the van. All right, I got a few pieces cut here. We'll start framing out this window like I did the other one. Let's get started here. Fur these out. These holes are already drilled. When we got the van, it had that black plastic uh, wall covering on it. Some of them fit in there, some of them don't. All right, so I got two. Let's grab a couple more down here. About out of rib nuts, it's a pack of 100. <laughs> All right, got the board up. So we can sort of run that up underneath there like that. All right, so I'm gonna cut a couple more pieces. Another first strip, get these up. And then I'm gonna start doing this too. We gotta fur this out like I did over there. So, got this bottom board on, it's working, cut this little corner piece, so I got to cut this other one and put a couple filler boards in here and then we'll be good to go. Alright, got it done, hit it with some of uh, the Loctite PL Marine Adhesive. For some reason this side was wanting to kick out. Maybe it's a little tighter up here. Got that secured. Basically, it's just holding, you know, the trim around the window. So once you expand this across here, get your trim piece in here, get your trim mount a piece here, you tie everything in together, it'll be solid. This side's super solid. So I'm going to let this sit overnight and then do just like the other side. Well, got to wait for the insulation. So I got the trim pieces cut, got them painted here, got them labeled on the back, which side they go on. So now what we're going to do, I uh, got the insulation in, some more insulation from uh, Havelock. So let's uh, let's get it installed now. Bam! Yes, insulation. That was easy and fast. I like that. So I really like the wool so far with what we've seen. Um, obviously, as so we get it completed um, and get some trips under our belt to see how well it performs. But 
um, easy to work with. It's good stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this window section, the wall covering on this uh, cedar tongue and groove. It's always the hardest part is getting this stuff somewhat level. Now I'm not going to nail these in until I get these boards cut so I make sure that I can have these the right depth in. So if I need to pull them out or push them in a little bit, I have a little bit of adjustment. Alright. Got that. Got that. Alright, got that board in. Turned out pretty nice. Like anything, you got to make a few adjustments. A little sand in, a little wood filler. Be good to go. So now, start cutting these little short boards right here. Cut the short ones on this side. Alright, we got... 19 and a quarter. Let's go cut that. Alright, got it cut. Let's see if see if it fits. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay. Alright, let me go cut a few more pieces and get them installed back here. Alright, looks good. So pumped, the walls are done. Trim these edges here for the box in, for the bed. Turned out good, but uh, as you can see the walls are done up here to the ceiling or to this 45 degree angle part and now we're on to doing the ceiling and we finally found some boards that was a problem trying to find some ceiling boards that met our needs so we're gonna take these <clears throat> put three rib nuts in each of these these beams that go across and then we're gonna tighten these up here and we're gonna start the ceiling from the center and work our way out we'll get a few boards up and then we'll start stuffing insulation <clears throat> and so it's hanging out on each side enough to you know go across insulate it really good we've got a pretty busy day let's dive into it man that was a uh a workout burning them arms getting these rib nuts in here so what i'm going to do now is get these fur strips up i'm going to kill the camera just get these up and we'll get back at you when we start putting the first uh board up and getting it laid out so we got the 
one by three first strips rib nutted screwed up here to the top we got our first uh, tongue and groove board we got this stuff at Lowe's this is a 5 8 inch thick um, it's a uh, what is it ponderosa pine board so they got some pretty cool grain in them there's one piece show you another piece here so pretty cool kind of that more rustic uh, natural look to it and we put a couple coats of that varnish that ECOS or whatever that expensive non BOC varnish on these and then what we're doing is we're taking the nail gun Brad nailer and using an 18 gauge one and a quarter inch long nail and we're hitting these boards four or five times I think these things will stay up here no problem like I said first time doing a van this is just how we're doing it trying this stuff out but uh, let's see if we can't get a few more boards up and so just like that got the ceiling up pretty simple as you guys saw getting the main support boards up the one by threes getting those rib nutted up was the tougher end of it we started in the center worked our way out I nailed everything up with these 18 gauge brad nails and these are an inch and a quarter long and I put probably six five six nails in each of this where each of these support pieces run I nailed it really good and it's it's up here so there's no screws going through this I still got to do this side this side turned out real good I cut this on a 45 and then took that scrap the piece that I cut off and flipped it around to the other side since it's tongue and groove so I cut the male end off put it around to the female side and flipped it upside down and it worked perfect this side since we have the females going in up here and the male end down here it's it's going to be a little bit uh a little bit different because the tongue and groove you'll see fits in up here so i'm not sure if i'm going to cut if i'm going to cut or if i'm just going to leave the tongue i'm, I'm probably going to cut it it's just going to look better Especially since this side's going to be, I'll have an exposed area up front and then back here over the bed, you'll be able to see this. But very pleased. It's, it's awesome, man. This thing's coming together. So to sum things up, the ceiling turned out really well. The 45 degree angles from the ceiling down to the wall, that transition area, turned out very nice. We've been in the van riding around for a month or two. Everything's held up very well. A couple other things I want to talk about are the lights that we put in and the switches that we put in. 
So in the living space, we put in two RV puck lights, which we'll link in the description down below. And then we put a single light over the bed. Those, uh, the living room lights are switched in two locations. One is by the bed and the other one at, is when you come in the side door. And we have a single pole switch, so you can only switch at one location for the light above the bed. And then we have a couple lights over the kitchen area. Those are cut into the upper cabinets. And those are on a rotary dimmer, so it's very nice at night, so you can just barely turn the lights on, especially in the morning, things like that, where you don't want a, want a ton of light in the van. And I think that about sums everything up for this video. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, please like, and we'll catch you on the next van video.